What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be answering a question I got on my max level Elden Ring video. I actually got quite a few questions on that video and I do plan on answering all of them so you can expect like a little Elden Ring Q&A series. If you have any questions about Elden Ring, go ahead and comment it down below and I will try my best to find an answer. And of course it will be in the Elden Ring network test. Because, you know, the full game's not out. Without further ado, let us get to the question. As you can probably tell from the title, this man asked, How much dex do you need for the fastest casting speed? Now, I'll tell you right now, I got the answer, and it's a solid one. It's not like a prediction or a guess, kind of. It is a solid answer. But I'm not going to tell you yet because then the video would be too short. So I put together this little video and it's gonna show, you know, the difference in speeds of decks from increments of 10 starting from 12 because, you know, that's what Enchanted Knight starts with. I'm gonna say right now, if you plan on making a magic-based build, you're definitely gonna want to, you know, invest in decks. Since magic is very strong in Elden Ring, you can expect in PvP a lot of magic builds to be running around. So, you know, if you yourself are a magic build, you're gonna want to have a slight advantage and decks will give you that advantage. Now, if I'm being completely honest, in the previous Souls games, I never really um, paid attention to decks on my spell builds, so I can't really say how different or how similar it is to the other ones. But as you can probably tell from the video, you do get slowly faster and faster going by increments of 10. And just going off of educated guess, in Dark Souls 3, the soft cap for this is probably 40 or 60. But in Elden Ring, it does go past that. Now with these speeds at high dex levels and the ability to cast spells a lot faster in Elden Ring, I can definitely see a lot of dumbass builds where people are just pure faith or intelligence and then just decks and then they just pop out of nowhere machine gun you down when you get close to them they use a phantom bloody finger which is a new item that lets uh invaders teleport away and you know they just keep doing that over and over and honestly that's probably gonna be goddamn annoying but i mean it's kind of funny if anything i'm probably gonna be the one doing that just because you know it's fucking annoying, it's kind of funny. In fact, I claim that idea right now. If anyone else does that in the future, well, I thought of it first. Anyways, it starts to slow down around 70 decks. In fact, I'm pretty sure that is the soft cap. It doesn't get any faster from there. And as you can see, it is slightly faster than 60 decks. And we are finally at 70 and above. And look at that, 80 and 90 decks is not at all faster than just 70 decks. I'll still go to 99 just to show proof that, you know, it doesn't get at all faster than 70. But to answer the question, you're going to want 70 decks to get the max casting speed. Anything after that is a complete waste of points and you, you just don't want to do that. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this reflects on the other attributes. Like, I'm not sure if the soft cap for those are 70. But, you know, judging by this video, I wouldn't be too surprised. Well, that about sums up this video. There is uh, one more comparison after this one, I believe. So keep watching if you want to. But if you did make it this far, fuck yeah, you're awesome. And, you know, if you enjoy, drop a like. If you're new, definitely subscribe. Most of you aren't. You know, go ahead and do that. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.